Hello, my name is Benjamin. Welcome to Pirate Kitchen, where I'll show you some of my favorite cooking methods and recipes I've concocted over the years. So I'm going to start my homemade cheese dip, a pot of gold cheese dip. For it, we need a crock pot, two blocks of cream cheese, uh, a cup of shredded cheese, some lime and lemon juice, and a few other small seasonings that you could change to fit your own taste palette. First of all, if you have a mixer, this recipe works a lot better with a mixer, but mine broke. And I found I could just use a crock pot nice about for the same effect. So, I'm going to go ahead and start by dropping the cream cheese into the crock pot. Sorry if this seems a little rushed. My camera lady, my wife... She's not here tonight, so I'm doing this solo. Hopefully future updates will be easier for that. And I will be making some regular updates, or at least semi-regular updates and videos. With plenty of variety in recipes. Give a moment. Yeah, this ain't Food Network, so you might see me struggle opening a bag or two. So, please bear with me. I want it to feel like it's a real kitchen. There we go. Two whole blocks of cream cheese. Best thing to do is let it sit for a few minutes so it can start getting a little bit warm while we get our other ingredients worked out. So, follow me over here to our mixing bowl. Now, when I, I prefer to mix the cheese myself and mix in some uh, seasonings along with the shredded cheese that will go into our cheese dip. So, you need a cup measurement. Now, for... Uh, Shredded cheese, you can use whatever you want, but I'm using a mix of taco and Italian blend to mix up a lot of different cheeses. Uh, probably should have blocked out the label, but yeah, I don't think no one will care. So, if you're using one bag of cheese, you need one cup. If you're using a mixture like I am, you need to divide it up. So, I'm using two bags, so that means I use, need a half, one half cup of each. Like I said, I'll be fighting with some uh, wrappers and packages on here. So, yeah, this is uh, might not be the most professional kitchen, so to say, but it's a more realistic one. I don't y'all get tired of seeing the chefs that never fight with their packages. You know, someone opened it for them. They know it, and we know we we. We know it, and they know we know it, and they really don't care. All right, so half a cup of taco. Now let's add the Italian and see if it's as hard to open as the other. And I hope I'm talking loud enough for y'all. I just don't want to be too loud. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I'm not interested in being the loud cook. All right, here we go. One cup of Italian Mexican blend. Throw in the bowl. Now, next, we will need to add some roast garlic and herb seasoning. Add however much you think fit. Different people do different. Me, I just throw in a few shakes. Yeah, like I said, this would be better if my regular camera woman would have been here. <laughs> now, to add in a little heat, I'm going to use a, one or two uh, shakes of New Orleans Cajun. And what you want to do next 
is, forgive me if you can't see it too well, is you want to mix it up with your hands, get a nice mixture. So this way all the stuff is blended in nice and well. All right, now let's take a look at our uh, box of cream cheese. As you can see, they still need a little bit of stirring or breaking up. Best thing to do is if you ain't got a mixer is to warm it up a little and break it up either in the crock pot or in a bowl of some sort. You can use a microwave, but I don't I don't like putting cheese in a microwave unless it's for something important or really quick. Not to say this isn't important, but you know what I mean. Now, as, now that it's broke up a little, it'll get a little bit softer, a little bit quicker. So, now that that's done, we are going to go ahead and add in some of our more liquidous ingredients. Let's see. Give me a sec. Seems I forgot to set it out. Future reference. Best to uh, set your stuff out ahead of time. Saves you hassle, and in my case, prevents some small bit of embarrassment. But, oh well, I'll live. And if I don't, well, I guess I don't, I guess my opinion, I guess my embarrassment won't matter at that point, will it? All right. So now you need some taco sauce next. Personally, I would use medium. But if you're not one for spicy, you could do, do as you please. Personally, I'd use for a smaller bottle like this, I'd just pour in the most of the bottle. And you could do that with a big bottle either, or you could just drop it all in. More to marry it, right? This will add a nice little uh, like salsa flavor without making the sauce too thick. All right. Now we'll go ahead and pour in our cheese mixture. All right. Give it a nice little bit of a stir to let it all mix in there well. If you're doing this in a crock pot, keep it on low. It'll take anywhere between about 20 minutes to an hour, depending on size of your crock pot and how much you have in it. Because I know some of y'all are having big football parties this time of year, so you're probably going to say, hmm, two blocks of cream cheese, and looking at my crock pot, that's nowhere near big enough to feed my guests. In which case, this recipe can be expanded on, like, just add another block or two of cream cheese, it'll be just as good, and give you just as much selection, uh, just as much of, out of it, a little bit more out of it than two or so would. All right, next ingredient, and one I'm probably going to fight some more with, lime juice. You could use lime powder, but the juice is better. Just give me a minute to figure out how to open this darn thing. Yeah, I probably should have done that earlier. But I guess I learned from my next video, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, let's see. All right, you need about two teaspoons of lime juice. And for our next ingredient, lemon juice. I know it sounds weird, but it tastes good. Adds a nice little citrusy flavor to it. If nothing else, it can help prevent scurvy. And you are in the pirate kitchen after all. All right, and just like with the lime, two te teaspoons of lemon. If a little more gets in, it's okay. It's okay. better to have more than to have less. And should you think it needs more for your own personal taste, all power to you. Add in this whole bottle if you want. If you're able to take a whole bottle of the stuff, you're, you're a tougher man than I. Or woman. Now, I want to get this all stirred up and mixed up nice and well. Now, 
Now, at this point, if you have any extra cheeses, such as a block or so you want to add in, I'm, with this mix, the more cheese you can add, the better. And because you ain't got to use Velveeta, you're, or the store brand Big Blocks, you can get the uh, cream cheese as from the store section for about normally 2 to $3 a pop. Now, for me personally, this is one of my favorite ingredients to add and a little secret to flavor. A block of feta cheese. It would add a nice little salty flavor to the cheese dip. Because the cheese itself is naturally briny and salty. If you're a fan of uh, feta cheese dip, word to the warning. Thank the Greeks. They made the stuff. Apparently centuries ago, made from either sheep or goat. Apparently it could be both, I think. Like using their milk. So if you ever wondered why it don't taste like anything made in America, it's because it's made through a different type of cheese that was not popular in America in the old days. Learn something new every day, right? Give me a minute. Still being beat by packaging. There we go. Just drop that small bit in. And beat it and blend it up. Now, depending on if you add any extra chunks of cheese like I did and mix it in, it might or might not, it might take a little more time. But that's okay. Something as good as this is worth waiting for. Like I said, you can do this in a mix mixer, and if I had one, you believe I, you could believe I'd be using a mixer. But if not, you could get a similar effect by using the crock pot, having it on low while you're preparing it. This way, you can let the cheese get nice and melted and loosen up. Now, if you have if you don't have lemon or lime juice or taco uh, sauce, you can use the powdered stuff. But it's better to use the juice because the cream cheese will soak it up better. It'll allow it to flavor it a little stronger. Make the flavor a little better too. But here's how it looks like right about now. In the crock pot. Well, when it gets done, it'll be a nice color of gold. So I'll come back in a few minutes.